is News 3 Sports. Saturday night in Murray, Kentucky was a special night. The Murray State Racers retired John Morant's number. Trying to not get emotional out there. Um, video, fans cheering, um, everything just kind of. I don't even know. I, I can't even put my feelings right now into words. But as hard as it was, he said thank you in a way only Ja could. Very special night. Very excited to have that number up there. No, none of you guys over there can wear that number no more. It was good seeing Ja back and just seeing him put, since he first got on campus, he put in a loud work that, and it was the world deserved honor for him. Coaches get superstitious on halftime routines and all that, but this is a one-shot deal. And I wanted us to get to be a part of a special night for Ja. He deserves it for everything he's done, uh, for Murray State, everything he continues to do. It's easy to see why Ja Morant is so loved by the Murray State fan base. Was there only two years, but he left such an impression. Oh, every one of us in here can't contain the excitement the fact that for the next two decades, we'll be watching you play 80 to 100 nights a year. This is my home, um, South Carolina, Murray, and now Memphis. Um, Murray's just so special. Um, always going to be home for me. People will always be my family. Um, Y'all see my face a lot. Um, just continue to just show where I came from, show support. The arena was filled with young kids wearing Jaws number 12 Grizzlies jersey. That was emotional for one of the NBA's brightest stars. A player many schools thought was undersized, but Murray State saw something special. It's special. Um, definitely surreal almost. Um, growing up, having favorite players wearing their jerseys. Now I have people out here wearing my jersey. Um, from relatively unknown to the second overall pick in the NBA draft in just three years, Ja remains humble and is mature beyond his years. My parents and family talk to me every day, almost every day. I, you know, I don't know how you're handling this at 20 years old. A lot of accolades, um, winning uh, the draft, having my daughter, uh, now one of the most talked about rookies in the NBA. I felt like what I went through just, just keep me humble, just keep me hungry, and just let me go out there and play with that chip on my shoulder. Yeah, brother, brother, brother. The first thing John ja did when he entered the arena was greet his old teammates, gave them a pregame pep talk in the locker room, and he finished the ceremony with them joining him on the floor. That last moment was just something special that we carried on my whole season last year, the dance at the beginning of the game, uh, we even did it sometimes in the locker room. Um, so just to go out one more time on a special night with that dance um, just felt good and hopefully made them feel good. 